praise the Lord. I want to look at something very important from the Word of God. But before we look into it, can we just have a brief moment of prayer? Now, Father, we bless your name for this wonderful day. The day which you have made that we should rejoice. Lord, we pray. Even as we look at your word, we pray you teach us your word in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Today we'll be looking at the topic works of Jesus Christ. Works of Jesus Christ. You see, Jesus Christ performed many wonderful works in that he preached, he thought, and healed those who were sick. He was focused more on his work rather than the trivialities of the world. He knew it quite well that the work of preaching the gospel should be placed at the front corner. Healing was to be a sign that he actually came from God, the Father, which was why his work of healing did not overshadow his main mission of saving mankind from his iniquities. He came to fulfill that main mission by first showing the people the way of salvation. Look at this in the book of um, Luke chapter 19 and verse 10. It says, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. This shows that Jesus Christ did not come for the righteous, but for the sinners, so that they can be saved. He had power on earth to forgive sins, according to Matthew chapter 9, in verse 6, in that he forgave the sin of as many as came to him for healing. He is faithful and just to forgive sins. Look at this in the book of uh, 1 John chapter 1, in verse 9. It says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Therefore, let us submit unto the work of Christ in saving mankind so that we will be saved from all sins. 